uh, as a way to saying you forgot your roots. It's a way to, to remind you. And this is this is very easy. Like people easily forgot where they come from. Uh, I'd like to share some stories. Ten years ago, uh, there is a young people uh, came to my temple to find me. He wants to debate with me. Do I have to respond to him? No, I don't have to. Because it's the waste of time. But he told me, after telling me so many things, one of them is, uh, Buddhism, it's all about filial piety, right? Because you guys talk a lot about that. What era is this? What time is this? This is an era of technology. Why do we need filial piety? If we don't follow the flow of the era, change according to the era, we will be rejected. That means what he meant is that we are outdated. The values are outdated. So these are a very civil view that is quite common. That means what he meant is in future you, you, don't, you don't even need to have parents. You can use in vitro fertilization. That means you, you, you require the, the signs to help you to get fertilized and all that. But I didn't respond. But when I heard that, I always I have a thought upon hearing his you know, view. I know why now the society is getting messy and messier, chaotic, turbulent nowadays. Because when the interaction between parents and child, there's a lot of uh, uh, young people, they are impatient with their parents. And they were easily uh, how angry and talk back in a very rude way. So that why do we have a, such a turbulent society because of people like this? A lot of these kind of people who forgot where they come from, like why they are here today because of people who give everything they have for them. They forgot them. Uh, if everyone forget about roots, the society is a mess, in a mess. So that's why I advise all the elder people, elder people who are those who are parents, take care of yourself. It's not, you can't rely on your children anymore. Because if you have too much hope when relying on, you know, there's a common Chinese saying that you have children to help you to overcome the, the pain of age, uh, uh, age aging. So right now in this era, it's hard. You can't rely on them because of this false views. First thing is the society as well, everything is busier, everything is more tight in schedule. They don't have time to take care of their own, not even their own children, let alone their own parents. And this is why, this is one of the sympathetic parts of the people nowadays. And this is why there is such a, a booming industry in retirement. Because no. this is a reality of nowadays. So young people, I urge all of you, all of us, no matter how successful, how high, what peak you have achieved in your field, never forgot the love your parents gave it to you. Never forgot those who give everything they have to you. Their love to you, their care to you. It's, that's what matters. Truly, because if we can't even get this point correct, there's no point to come to Buddhism and learn from Buddha. You have no roots, no land, you can't build anything. This is why we need to start from Siddhikapa Bodhisattva. This is why. So, if you want to be successful in cultivating Buddhism, achieve Buddhahood, begin from here. Number one, Siddhikapa Bodhisattva represents filial piety. Love and respect towards our elders, basically. Second, first thing is what defines humanity, repaying kindness. Second thing is being aware 
appreciate the kindness we actually receive from people around us, start from our parents, from everyone else. It's not given from the God. It's not from a heavenly beings up above. It's by people, your society, that gives you everything they have. So repay the kindness for those who actually give it to you. So number one, among our four kindnesses above, right, when we do the dedication of merit, the first one is parents, second is the teacher or the triple gem, Buddha Dhamma Sangha. The fourth one is country, the fifth is the society, the all the being and sentient beings. Number three, Bodhisattva represents a virtues, you know, the merits of cultivating virtues. With virtues, uh, if you look at uh, modern people, when when you when you look at the society nowadays, you have you can see a common um, problem: lacking virtues, lacking decency. Right? We use a simple word: decency. If you look around them, no matter what they do, there's a a lot of those driven purely by self-interest, purely and driven by uh, desires, purely by desires, and they because of that they they they're willing to let go any semblance of dignity as a human and do something that is basically disgusting. So I have a story. I have a friend. I have a movie given to me from my friend, my classmate. This is about. Observation of current society. And the story goes by a good doctor. How, why is he addressed as good doctor? Because in this hospital, a lot of other doctors, they are lacking virtues, lacking ethics. And this, I think it's a documentary. It's showing behind the scene what actually happens in the hospital and those doctors not following their ethics. And knowing this reality, not just in one field, in many fields, we understood that this is truly the end, like the world that Buddha described for a Dharma ending age. Uh, so back to the point, uh, we need to understand the worldly goodness or all goodness, uh, all kind, all things that are good in the world. Do not depart from the foundation of filial piety from being respectful and loving towards your elders, parents. Without this foundation, whatever good you did towards anyone else, it's not sincere. A lot of people like to give, for example, I like to I like to offer to a temple. Uh, I like this temple, I give a lot of money to help them to build up. Uh, if this uh, uh, Dharma Center likes to build something, they will help. However, if you look at their character, their character in private, behind the scene. To those who give everything to them, to those who are kind to, to this person, he's not being very kind towards their own loved ones. So this person might look like a good people donating all these things. But in behind the scene, when treating their own parents, lacking a basic virtue of respect. And this Saya Muni Buddha's Dharma for 49 years, right? He's been giving us the talk for 49 years. All of them, each details, each sutras, they're actually core, the center around Siddhikabha Bodhisattva Sutra. That means it's the sutra about Vila Bhaiti. Right. They do not depart from this. You can call it an annotation of this sutra. So we cannot just read through this sutra and treat it like uh, anything. Like, like we, we need to appreciate the importance of this in our cultivation. 